What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am back here doing a carp episode for you guys today and it has been a long time since I've done a carp episode. I know it's been around two months but um, anyways I'm here at a local lake. Come on Luca. He's excited. I got my son Luca here with me today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh just a quick session today. It is very, very hot. It's actually close to 100 degrees, but um, I have some time off from work, so we're gonna try to make the most of our time here. Um, like I said, at a local lake, doing some carp fishing today, and I'll show you what we're doing today, so stay tuned. All right, I have two of my rods rigged up here, and like I said, short session, uh, short session, and Okay, so at this lake, I have been here before a few times. I've done well. There's a, there are carp in here. Problem is there's a lot of ducks, as you can see right in front of me here. Luckily right now, they are in the grass, not in the water. So I'm gonna try to get these rods out before they start infesting this water. So, um, so you yeah, know, this is, this is a pretty good area. Um, I haven't been here in a while, so I'm really curious to know what is going on in here. And uh, so pretty much what I'm doing today is that we're gonna be using two or three rods and I really wanna just devote my bait just to using two pieces of hook bait. Um, and what I mean by that is with my hair rig here, every one of my um, rods is gonna have two pieces of bait. And I'm gonna be showing you what I think is some of the best uh two-piece hook baits to have on your hair rig and there are so many different combinations so many different ways to use two pieces of hook bait on a hair rig but um i'm going to show you my favorite and why i think it works the best uh for this first rod i'm using just two pieces of pop-up corn and this is from enterprise tackle i like the enterprise tackle pop-up corn because i feel like it pops the best for one. So with these pop-up corn, what it's gonna do is just slightly pop up off the bottom. And um, I use the Enterprise Tackle as well as the American Carp Society. These, actually I think these are, actually I'm sorry, these are the American Carp Society ones that I have on here right now. The yellow and the orange, and I'm using my pack bait on here, which I made. I think yesterday or a couple of days ago. If you refrigerate it, it'll stay good for a week. So I think I made this yesterday. But I like just the two pieces. A um, couple reasons. One, it's it's not overwhelming, um, especially during the summertime. I find that the bike can really go to <laughs> go to craps. I guess you could say with especially like a day like today where it's really hot. Um, also works really good in the winter time where the carp aren't as feeding as much. So it's a good all year round bait. I've caught a lot of carp just using two pieces of pop of corn. And this is fake corn, plastic corn. So on a hair rig here, just like that. And uh, I use corn in my pack bait, which even makes it even better. And I'm gonna spray this. The American Carp Society Astroberry Cream flavored spray. Nice fruity scent. I like using fruity scents in the summertime. This water temp, I have no idea, but it's definitely probably in the 80s, mid to upper 80s, if I had to guess. Um, you're in the month of July, approaching August. So I'm gonna get this one out first. It's not snaggy through here, which is nice. Um, so, hold on, Luca. Okay. So it's rod number one. Not deep through here, maybe like five, six feet in the center here. There's koi in here too. I've never caught a koi, but commons, maybe a mirror. I'm not really sure. So, so this is rod number one. I'm gonna set that here. Let's 
that's it there. All right. All right. Rod number two. I'm having this uh, tiger nut. Uh, very discontinued tiger nut from uh, uh, Linear Bait uh, Carp Bait Company I used to be a part of. I've still kept it over the years. This is a juicy paired flavored Senate tiger nut. I'm tipping this with a pop of corn. Now the pop of corn is from Enterprise Tackle and I love their pop of corn as well. And to be honest with you, this is my most reliable bait. Um, it's always in the arsenal every time I carp fish, no matter what. So this is probably no surprise to a lot of you guys. If you guys do not use this bait combination, the tiger nut with the pop-up corn, huh, you should put it in there. This also works well all year round. I've caught it in the winter time, summertime, spring, fall. Okay. It's not an overwhelming bait. These are not big baits, guys. These are, we're not using any boilies or pop-up boilies, that is. On this session today, these are all just small hook baits, double stacks. Okay, like them more for the summertime. All right, pretty much all year round. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this one out. It's like I was getting something on this. It's like I'm getting something already. Hold on, Sally. We were getting something on that first rod. It's definitely twinging a little bit. Oh yeah, it might be a cat. Hold on a second. Let me put this down real quick. Did not take long. Maybe a cat. I think it's a cat. This acts like a catfish. Let's see what we got. It says not take long. There are catfish in here, more bullheads than anything. We'll start reeling. Yep. Yeah, we got something. We got something. Yeah, small fish. I think it's a, I think it's a bullhead cat. Let's get him up. Yeah. All right, here. Well, that did not take long at all. Uh, hope he's not got hooked. No, but he has some pretty wicked. Ooh. Look at that. Yikes. Oh. Okay. There he is, guys. I'm going to get him back in there, but that does not look pretty at all. I'm not sure what was going on there. All right, let's get that back out. It did not take long at all. Okay, that did not take long at all. Uh, a lot of catfish in here, so... Okay, let me get that one back out. I'm actually gonna, since this one's already baited up, I'm gonna get this uh, tiger nut with the pop of corn out here. Well, that makes me happy though. I'm glad that did not, I mean, granted it wasn't a carp, but. Okay. Okay, I'm glad the water, like I said, is running here. Like with this water fountain, that just provides 
extra oxygen in the water for these fish and keeps the water kind of moving prevents it from getting too stagnant which can happen a lot during the summer maybe these duck are too hot for the water who knows okay i'm actually going to try to get this one back near the fountain a little bit guys this last rod and that may switch us up a little bit depending on how the session goes i'm using a single piece of astroberry cream tiger nut on the bottom of my hair and i'm putting a enterprise tackle pop up tiger nut on top another great uh, bait combination that i like to use and haven't used this one particular in a while because i usually just use a pop up boily for my third rod but like I said today we're strictly just using double hook pieces or two pieces of hook bait I guess you could say so nothing crazy like I said when you carp fish so many different ways to so many different kind of baits you can use uh oh oops there we go just like that now you're probably wondering, oh, the snowman rig, I don't have a boilie and a pop-up. Also a great bait, which is using a, a nice boilie for your bottom bait on your hair rig with a pop-up boilie on top. Also very effective, but I don't know, in the summertime, I don't think that's gonna be quite the best choice because it's a bigger bait. And I mean, certainly you can, I think it's a great bait. Um, I just feel like during the summertime, you gotta know your area of water too. Like there's not a lot of big carp in here. So not saying it's just strictly for big carp, that specific bait, but typically bigger the baits, the bigger the fish you're gonna get. But I have caught in small carp on that combination too, but I'm not a big boily person, honestly. I just find I get a lot more success with the smaller baits for um, just catching different carp sizes so i typically don't go for size i just typically just go for quantity more than quality so huh so there's no feeding waterfowl so you can't feed the ducks which <laughs> people do feed them here still all right Let's see here, we got that on here. This one, I'm gonna, this is a new rod I got. My other Sonic Extractor broke. And this is nice, cause this has cork handle, which I don't remember ever seeing before. So this is the exact same rod of what I'm using. The only difference is with this one, it's just the cork handle. So, all right, I'm gonna throw this one over here. Like right in the middle of there. All right, guys, all three rods are finally out. Let's see if we can get a carp. Stay tuned. That's a big bullhead. Actually, I got him. We're okay. Look at that. Is that bigger? Yeah, thank you. I couldn't tell if it was a carp or a catfish. That's a big cat. That's a big bullhead. Bottom lip there, bottom area. Look at that. Yellow bullhead. Or is it a brown bullhead? Might be a brown bullhead. But, all right, second one. Let's release it. A little bit of spawn marks on the sides of them there. Second one on this, kind of bait.
Yeah, over here. This is a big one. Yeah, he's he's in he's stuck on something. He's stuck on something. Oh now he's free. Help with the net. Yeah. Okay. You want to try to reel them in? Sure. You want to try to practice a little bit? Yeah, you keep the net there. See how I want you to watch first. See how I'm holding it right here? Yeah. Put your arm here. Yep. Yep. Now lift up. Gentle. Now reel down. Good. Now stop. Stop. Reel up. Oh, is he on? Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yep, here. here. Yeah, there you go. Now reel up and stop. There you go. Now reel. Gently. You feel him? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. He's big, isn't he? He's big, isn't he? <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Oh. Oh, Luca. Keep going. Hold on. Stop, stop. <laughs> Hold on. I see it. Hold on. Yep, let him go. Just don't do anything right now. Hold on. Not yet. He's like, no, I don't want to Oh, we got him. We got him. That's a nice one, Luca. Let's go over here. All right, guys. So Luca's first carp. How's it feel? Good. All right. Here we are. This is not bad. This is not a bad size carp for this area. It's about average size. You can see the hook up there. This is to the double stack of pop of corn, American Carp Society. That's good. There's definitely some branches over there for sure. Because we had a little bit of a hard time moving him at first. Get a little closer, Luca. There you go. See how Daddy's holding it? Yeah. Can you hold it? Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. All right, guys. Here we are. First one. Lucas Carp. All right. Luca, how's it feel? Good. Yeah. So Lucas' first Daddy. carp. All right. This fell victim to the double stack of pop-up corn. Woo! Let's release this one. There he goes. That's better. He? Yeah, he's good. I'm thinking he might be a He swam off. Yes, Alright guys, we're gonna call it quits here. It's pretty much getting dark and can't stay out too late. Wish I could, but um bite has been a little bit slow for the last 45 minutes or so. So we're gonna we're gonna pack up here, but uh, not bad for the short session. Uh, two two bullhead catfish, one carp. It was nice to catch that carp. So uh, all fish came to that double stack of pop up corn. But um, we'll be back for a longer session sometime later this summer, early fall. But appreciate you guys watching this video. We'll catch you on the next one on Top Tactic Fishing. Say bye, Luca. What? Say bye to the camera. Goodbye. Bye-bye.